how different will the offense under Kalen DeBoer look compared to what it was under not just the coordinators, but the head coach, Nick Saban, for the last decade and a half. Well, philosophically, they're very similar. Actually, there was a moment in the offseason. After a slow start to 2023, Milrow finished with an outstanding campaign. Here's Jam Miller, great run on the first play. Big hit on the sideline. The running backs in the fall. So a new group back there, Milrow in trouble. And this is what he does so well. We saw this a ton last year. On second down and short, I'm going to run it again. And it's a first down for Miller. And played as well as anybody at quarterback in the country down the stretch. Milrow throwing a deep ball here. And a contested catch made by Jeremy Bernard, transfer from Washington. Knew he was going to get hit, went up high, made a great catch. Justice Haynes gets the call here into the end zone for the touchdown. Justice Haynes. 25 carries a year ago, but he and Jan Miller. Simpson with time, and it's pulled in for a first down out near midfield. Simpson going to hand it off again, and good job of the backfield against true freshman Daniel Hill. So fourth down. Simpson from the pocket, unloads in traffic, and it's caught for a first down. Coordinator, whether at Eastern Michigan or Indiana, then he got the head job at Fresno State. After two years there, took the Washington job. Played here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Ball is falling. He knows how to get the most out of his guys. There's a pitch to Young. And Young able to power through an arm tackle into the end zone for a touchdown. Nice run. Coach, how strange is it for you to be out here without your whistle on? Well, you know what? It was good to come back today. I got to talk to the team and congratulate them on last year's SEC championship. and. You know, we honored Jim Wilson today, who was a board of trustee who did a great job for the university. And, you know, we put our captain's hand and footprint in the dirt. So um, all those things are great traditions, and it's good to be back and be a part of it. Are you going to be able to watch and enjoy as a fan? Are you going to be writing down some coach's notes while you're up in the box watching? What are you going to be doing? My, my biggest concern is being with um, my head coach, Miss Terry. <laughs> I, I've never ever had to watch a game with her. So I'm a little concerned. Last question, Coach. Why is this team in the right hands with Kalen DeBoer for the future? Yeah, well, Kalen's a great coach, and I know there's been some disruptions uh, based on, you know, me leaving him coming, but uh, he's going to do a great job. The players are in good hands, and I think they'll do a great job of recruiting and probably need to get some guys out of the portal like everybody else at this time of year, but. I'm excited for the future. All right, thank you, Coach. Enjoy the game with Miss Terry. Thank you. Bill Rowe off play action, lobbing it, and maybe a little push off. Inside the 20 is Bernard, and Bernard inside the five, and finally dragged down at the two yard line. Look at you calling plays in the spring game. You have a future in this business. Touchdown for Jim Miller. Touchdown catch in the SEC title game. Punches it in here. Just a little bit of a split zone right here as, as far as walking on eggshells. There's a lot less of that for sure. These guys are empowered and trusted. And ten. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> a chain game moved. <laughs> as soon as Kalen said, let's go. Fresh set of down. Daniel Hill on the carry and doesn't get much, maybe a yard. He's a versatile guy. They're trying to figure out whether he's a tight end or a receiver. They, as we mentioned earlier, really four tight ends. J.D. Gardner. It's always great to see everybody. Lonergan wearing your number here in Alabama. First round pick, Caleb Downs transferred to Ohio State. Lonergan's pass broken up, nearly picked off. The same as it is in a regular game, so a chance of three points here. And the kick is good. Structure very similar, but the responsibilities are very, very different. Simpson, nice job to step up and throws a strike. Nice tackle, but Prentice able to pull it in. The defender are on the quarterback, not on the guy they're covering. Huge hole here for Jan Miller inside the 20. And close to the goal line, but down at the two. Miller again. See Sav just trying to grab out of his jersey to slow him down, but that's not going to work. It's another it's touchdown for Jan Miller, second already. Isaiah Bond transfer. Yeah, that's going to be a 
the sack, Mac. Great, great speed off the edge to go along with Robinson, who's likely going to be the starter. But situationally, those guys, man, with their ability to affect. Oh, yeah. Third down and nine for Milrow. Pressure backside. Flags are down. This will be holding. Milrow throws it away at LSU, at Tennessee, at Norman. Pretty interesting when you look that up. You still got to kind of look twice, right? Do a double take. You see Alabama, Oklahoma on the schedule. Typical Alabama, three steps ahead when it comes to planning. <laughs> well, think about some of the schools that pass has dropped, like Milrow threw it on target. Player-led accountability is enormous. And that's something that Alabama's always been good at as Kendrick Law breaks free, pushed toward the sideline. Going forward here on fourth down and one. Mack was trying to call timeout. The ball was snapped. And then the pass by Young picked off. What a great play by Drake Kirkpatrick Jr. Penalty flag is down, but what a nice catch. Here in Tuscaloosa, biggest stage yet here at Alabama for Kalen DeBoer. They try to run the ball here on third and goal. Daniel Hill going nowhere, stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Whatever. Clean it up. Close it's enough. Crimson Tide. <laughs> it's crimson. close enough. It's not close enough. It's crimson. <laughs> it's right in the end zone, if you forget. <laughs> All right, right over there. As the backup, and then eventually the starter winning a championship. Is Ty Simpson ready to be that guy should something happen to Jalen Milrow in terms of injury? Simpson flushed out of the pocket. Pocket breaking down, and Milrow on the run, and they'll blow it dead. Continuing to get more consistent throwing the football, I think he's taken huge strides in that area in the last 12 months. Here's Austin Mack out there, and he dumps it off to Adam Thorslin. And don't worry about trying to create the big plays. Hey, second and four is great down the distance for us as a play caller. So I think that was something that he struggled with at times early in his career, and that's any time you have the ball in your hands in the open field. Moments ago, we just showed a promo. And it's a Michael Lorino, the third is the ball carrier down to the 28. Make him more of a pocket passer and kind of change his game accordingly. And man, I mean, he took off. But yeah, I mean, that was a big part of Michael Penix's game early in his career and then by the end. So it's understandable that it's kind of progressed that way. No row from the pocket, a strike. Short of the line to gain. Seven three and outs forced by the defense after just one in the first half. Simpson leaving the pocket and receiver wide open downfield Bernard five star recruit a couple years back out of Martin Tennessee some overtures people pursued him but he recommitted here and, and then so excited I know all the other Alabama fans feel the same way to see the commitment to basketball here as well and a very successful first a day for DeBoer here in Tuscaloosa final score white beats the Crimson 34 28.